for the additional interest that is going to change. So let's say this company, a corporation, goes to the bank and it says, look, it doesn't matter how much amount you're going to, let's say I'm raising, I'm going to do a hundred million dollar loan, okay? Give me some quotes. So the bank says, look, you choose. I'm going to give you a fixed rate of 10% on your loan if you want it. So this is company A. But you can choose floating if you want. We'll offer that too. And you're gonna pay LIBOR plus 0.3. Actually, when I did this example, LIBOR was almost 5%. This is back in uh, 2008, LIBOR. January 08, the LIBOR was four and a half percent or something. So it was as high as five percent. Of course, LIBOR dropped to almost zero point three percent, and now it's up to almost three percent. So let's assume it doesn't matter what LIBOR is. Let's assume for now, let's say LIBOR is six percent. But we don't need care about that for this example. I just want to give you a point of reference. So this guy has a choice of paying fixed ten percent for the next ten years or pay LIBOR plus 0.3, so it's gonna start with a 6.3, and if the LIBOR goes to seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, of course, it will be better off to stay with the fixed, depending on what the view on the LIBOR is, right? So this is what is offered to him. Company B, separate, they don't know each other. Maybe different bank. Company B, Let's say this company B is different quality. Maybe this, this guy's a double B rated. This guy's a double B minus, as a matter. So double B minus, they go out to raise money. They go to a bank and they go to different bank. That's going to be the same bank. So company B gets a quote from the banker. I can give you a fixed rate of 11.2% or you can choose a floating rate if you want of LIBOR plus 1%. Okay, two different companies, two separate places, they don't know each other. One is a little better than the other quality wise. Looks like this guy can access capital at 10%. This company can access 11.2 and it happens in the real world, and we'll do this in the bond class. Sometimes they get rated at double B, single B, triple A, whatever, double A. Of course, the higher the rating, the more credit worthiness you have, so you can access capital cheaper. So this company probably is a little bit more riskier than company A. Now, the next question you're gonna ask for their view. What's their interest rate view? What is your view on interest rates? So you ask the CFOs of those companies. So let's assume now, just to, for the argument's sake, uh, company A feels the rates will stay low. So if you are a company A, a CFO, you think rates will stay low, which would you choose? LIBOR, yeah. LIBOR because LIBOR is not going to go anywhere. I think it's going to stay out of six. Maybe go six and a half. Maybe come down. So 10 is too much. The difference is huge. So I don't think LIBOR is going to move much. That's the view, right? So you would think naturally that we pick LIBOR plus 30 basis points. They will be satisfied and the end of story. There's no swap or anything, right? Let's assume company B now has a view the rates will go up. Interest view, interest rate view. So if you think interest rate go up, which do you think naturally they should choose? Fixed, because these guys are white. If LIBOR goes to 50% or some ridiculous amount, 15 plus one, 16%, I'd rather fix my 11, 
and I sleep at night. I know how much I'm going to pay every year, $11 million a year. I don't have to worry about interest rates movement. Now, this is the smart guy comes in, the swap guy. The swap guy is investment banking type. You know, when I look at him, I'm scared a little bit because he's going to sell me something. It's like selling your car, right? Sales car. He says, hold on a minute. Before you make a decision, I have an idea. What idea? Just listen to me. I'm the swap guy. I know all things. So this is the swap guy here. This is the financial solutions guy. And he says, what, what is the bank giving you? Oh, uh, yeah, they gave me 11.2 fixed, LIBOR plus 1%, but I think rates will go stay high. That's my view. So I should be taking the fixed. Don't go anywhere yet. Don't make a decision. Wait for me. Let me ask the other guys over here. What are you getting? Yeah, I'm getting a 10% fixed. Floating rate of LIBOR plus 0.3. But I think I'm going to go with the LIBOR because 10 is too high. The LIBOR is low. No way LIBOR is going to go anywhere. I should take the floating because I think LIBOR will stay low. The swap guy says, stop it. I'll tell you what you're going to make a decision. You're going to make money out of this. How? Okay. Following. Decision time. Decision time. So I am the investment banker telling them. I'm the swap guy, investment banker. IG, investment EIB, sorry, investment banking guy. I says, company A, even though you are correct thinking that the rates are going to go low, I want you to pick the fixed. Okay? Why? Well, stay with me. I'm going to give you a swap rate. I'm going to take care of you. And then you go to company B. Hold on. I see an opportunity here. Even though you think it's, the rates are going to go high and you want to get the fixed, I want you to take the floating rate. So lock it in. Call the bank. Take the floating. And I will take care of you with a swap rate. I'm going to swap you guys. You're going to pay the guy's payment. And he's going to pay your payment, basically. Of course, the swap guy doesn't tell them who the company is. You're going to go through me. Okay? And this is the, how it works. I give them a swap rate. Every swap has a swap rate that both have to pay, somebody has to pay, and somebody has to receive that. So let's say the swap rate is uh, 995. So let's say they're locked in. The guy is floating. So what is he paying? LIBOR plus 1%. He's paying that, right? And this guy locks in fixed. I'm going to give this guy here, this guy, okay, he's going to pay another $9.95. So he's going to pay LIBOR plus 1% plus nine ninety five. And this guy is going to receive, because I'm paying 10, I'm receiving $9.95. So that's the offset. He is going to receive now also LIBOR um, he's going to receive LIBOR uh, I'll just calculate this thing one minute. He's going to receive LIBOR only. And this guy is going to pay LIBOR. Okay, let's do the calculation what the actual pay. 
He pays 10% and he pays LIBOR. So he pays LIBOR plus 10%, but he receives 995 back from the swap company. So net net, he pays LIBOR plus 05. Half a percent. You see that? Everybody got that, right? You pay 10, when I say plus, you pay, okay? They pay 10 plus LIBOR, so he's gonna pay LIBOR plus 10, but he gets back from this guy's 995. So net net, he pays LIBOR plus five basis points. Got that? This guy here now, which is good because his view is fixed, his view is already slow, so he's paying LIBOR now. But even better than what they gave him as a choice. So what's his benefit? 0.25% because of the swap. So in other words, if he did have the swap house, I'm gonna look at him too in a few minutes. If he did have the swap house to give him advice, he would have locked in the Lyle plus 0.30 for the next five years and nobody would have known and LIBOR goes up and down or whatever, doesn't matter. But here, he can still pay LIBOR. But if you take decision of fixed and swapping, you can actually get a benefit out of the swap. 25 basis points benefits a lot of money, right? $250,000 and a $100 million arrangement. Let's look at this guy, he benefits too. Well, he's paying LIBOR, but he has he thinks rates go high, he's scared. He wants to just fix the rate, right? But I told him to take floating. So he's taking the LIBOR plus 1% as I asked him to pay. And he's gonna pay also 995, but I'm gonna pay him LIBOR back. So he offsets the LIBOR. Plus LIBOR, he receives LIBOR. So he ends up paying 1095 fixed. See that? But he was offered 11.2. So he saves 25 basis points. Is that beautiful? Swaps work. So let's review quickly. This company goes to the bank, separate bank. Bank, bank A goes there and says, hey bank, I need to borrow 100 million, 10 million, 1 million, doesn't matter. I said, okay, I'm gonna give you fixed 10% of LIBOR plus 0.3. You take your choice, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards LIBOR because my view rates will stay low, 10% is too high. But let me ask my advisor what I should do, because I don't know how, maybe somebody thinks LIBOR is gonna go crazy. So let me just verify what my view is. So I call my investment banker. I said, this is what I'm doing. What do you think I should do? Don't do anything yet. Because I have, I know someone, I know someone, okay? Company B, goes to the same investment bank. It says, I gotta borrow from bank B. The bank B gives me fixed rate 11.2, allowed by 1%, but I think you're getting fixed because um, I'm thinking rates will go up. We're going to go crazy. Rates are going to be nuts. Okay? Inflation is coming up. Look at the government. It's changing every six months. They change the rate. It's going to go crazy. It's going to be ugly. So I think the LIBOR is going to shoot up like crazy. Let me fix. I said, no, no, don't do anything. Wait for me. So they go in, the swap house, they talk to people, try to find the best rate, make money, and they come back and say, okay, here's the announcement. I'm gonna give you a swap rate. I'm gonna announce the 995 swap rate, which someone has to pay the 995 and someone receives the 995. So it's floating through, look. The swap house doesn't keep anything, doesn't take any, any uh, risk, right? So he pays 995 and he gives it to company A. Our company A now, he pays 10, it's fixed, and he received 95, so he only pays five basis points. But I'm gonna give him LIBOR to pay LIBOR since he's thinking low. So you have to pay LIBOR. 
I'm gonna give you the LIBOR. And you, I'm gonna give you the, you have to pay the LIBOR, I'll give you 995 for that. And then he receives the LIBOR, he offsets his LIBOR, so he gets it to a fixed. So now we both benefit at 25 basis points. Any questions? Yes. Flooring rate, yes, because, of course. Yeah, why they need the, the yeah, oh, the rule of thumb, when you go on to get a loan, a fixed rate is always higher, right? Because if, if the flooring rate was, it would be a problem if the flooring rate is higher than a fixed. It could be an inverse, an inverse yield, which is crazy, usually. Fixed is higher. So, what's the benefit of investing in bank and they get a fee for? Ah, oh, yeah, they might charge him, you know, because of the services, I charge 25 basis points fee to this guy. So, they didn't get an interest rate in the swap IP guy. What's that? No, swap he doesn't. Swap IP will, will, will embed an interest rate for their payment. Yeah, well, you know, if you think about it, they take it 995, they give it to them, they receive LIBOR and they give it to LIBOR, so they don't get anything from the swap, they might charge a fee to each for doing this, coming with this idea. I mean, they saved, they saved the guys 25 basis points. So I might say, okay, we'll take the 25 basis points fee the first year. But this is every year, right? So they might do that. Or if they want to really make money, they don't have to pay, they might change the swap rate, right? For one versus the other. And pocket the difference. And make a difference, pocket the difference, right? But usually they don't do that. What, usually they charge a fee? Yes, charge a fee. Is it a fee percentage of the notion? Yeah, they can give you $250,000 to do this for you for here, 250 here, or half a million here. Talk about a lot of money, 100 million. Yeah, they make fees, so that's, that's how they are. And actually maybe they make money on the savings that they save them. But if they want to actually change the swap rate, this guy pays 995, but they pass only, you know, 985. Okay, Still benefits this guy, right? 985, 10 base points, so he's gonna pay loud pass 15, so he benefits 10, they pocket the 10, as the guy pays. And then over here, they might say, I'm gonna give LIBOR uh, 0.25. You gotta pay LIBOR, um, you know, I give you a different fixed, Component. So you can do that, I guess. But any questions on this? This thing. They charge fees. That's it. Because remember, everything is flowed through. It's exactly the same. So they don't make any money here, except they might tell company below, I can save you 25 base points. Just pay a fee. That's my banking fee. Do they have different fee schedules for, we say, maybe they do a ton of business with Bank of America? Do they do a same deal with, say, if there's a good client? Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's a very cutthroat business. Swap market is huge. You can go to investment bank and they can, you can ask all this, let's say this is one investment bank, and go to four of them, and I can give them what they should do. Okay, what the best benefit, yeah. 